Hello everyone, it's Logan here, and uh, this is a video about getting to the island runway very, very quickly. Apparently this was uh, maybe a challenge on Reddit or something. I don't actually read Reddit. I'm sure a bunch of you just said, uh, you know, blasphemy. But uh, yeah, I actually got this challenge from uh, watching a video by Scott Manley. And uh, so this particular uh, video response of mine goes in the... Uh, things I thought I could do better than Scott Manley <laughs> um, uh, category. And uh, this is going to be a lot of failures. And then I'll show you the uh, the completion at the end to see how it turned out. But uh, I guess the challenge or people were doing it in less than, say, 40 or 45 seconds, something like that. Oh, there we go. Right into the train. Um, Scott managed to do it in 34, 35 seconds. And I thought, well, of course I'll be able to do it better than that. Why not? He makes it look so easy, it's got to be easy. So this uh, was actually not my first attempt. I managed to do it in right about the 34, 35 second range. And um, I thought, oh, I can do better. And uh, yeah, not so much. Some nice explosions there. Um, no matter what I did, none of the crew capsules would stay stable. None of them. Mark one. Mark II, none of them would stay stable. Uh, so I ended up, I, maybe this is cheating a little bit, I ended up going with the MechJeb nose cone. I'm not using MechJeb for anything. Uh, I'm completely flying this manually. They're 14, 1500 meters per second. Um, not bad at all. I also have that problem, if you noticed, where I would try to stage, and sometimes it doesn't stage. Now in this case, that's fine, I just hit it a bunch of times. But sometimes I'll, I'll end up accidentally multiple staging. Oh, okay. Well, I made it in 30 seconds there. Um, that's the other thing is because I don't read Reddit, I don't know if the challenge is to actually make it there alive or not. I made it there in 30 seconds, so that's got to be a record, right? Um, but yeah, sometimes it'll stage through multiple stages, and sometimes it won't do it at all when I hit spacebar. So that's frustrating sometimes. Uh, this one seems to be going pretty good here. 13, 1400, almost 1500, a little bit slower there. Um, now, I actually think were I able to get the other command pods stable, it would go quicker than using this thing because this is actually six tons. It's very heavy. Oh, 34 seconds, not good enough anyway. Um, yeah, this, this capsule is actually quite heavy and uh, so I think oh well that was a staging here so I think uh, if I were able to get the original the, the main command pods stable not like that um, it would actually go quicker so if anything this this pod is hindering me there we go that's looking good but it's too long 37 seconds but he survived 37 seconds though let's do that again so this is uh, this is not the final version here. I ended up... Oh, no. One of the frustrating things about Kerbal to me is such a fun game. But one of the frustrating things is that I can do the same thing over and over and over in exactly the same way and get different results every single time. So this one's going a little bit too slow there. But, yeah, yeah. Litho breaking to the extreme. Alright. Looking good. So this is not the final version, but it ended up... Oh! Taking pretty much its final form. Good explosion. I wish I would have let that one keep going. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, random explosions. Exactly the same thing as always, and sometimes it explodes and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I should mention I am on Kerbal 1.0, so I have not upgraded to 1.02 or 1.0.2. Some people are saying they don't like it. Lots of good explosions here. So I figure I'll wait to see if they end up uh, fixing anything else again. Here we go. It's going pretty good, pretty well, I should say. Another thing that would happen is I would be off by, say, 
a degree starting off like that and I just completely miss the edge of the of the island so then that that begs the question of you know what because I don't know the actual challenge where it, where does it end oh there we go he survived nope no he didn't um, so you know does crossing the edge of the island count uh, of course you <laughs> can't see anything at all here <laughs> it makes it very difficult to steer and yeah <laughs> here yep missed it so I you know started off by you know just being a degree off and uh, as a result I hit the back side of the island at 37 seconds whereas you know I crossed the beginning of the island in you know about 30 seconds so oh yep see exactly the same thing just takes it off takes off the back end here we go looking good 32 seconds <gasps> yeah so I end up using the uh, um, okay don't know what happened there um, ended up using the uh, the service bay to hide the parachute so they wouldn't because I found that they were burning off otherwise um, they would explode then I would be left with no parachutes which isn't conducive to stopping yeah and that's the other the other really difficult thing is when do you stop sometimes I stop too early too late yep just takes off the back end let's try that again no nope. no nope. Should have left that explosion. Keep going. That was pretty good. All right. Is this the one? Looking good. I got good enough where I could actually pilot the thing from the side. Not bad. Still going. Don't hit the water. 1,100. Look at the G-forces. 10 Gs. 14, 15, almost 1,600 there. Coming in like a warhead there with considerably less explosive power. 30 and break too early, I think. 34 seconds. And he survived. Not bad. One of my favorite parts I know several times is the uh, the drive section of this rocket would come in late, like a missile, and impact the island just below where I impacted. 33 seconds and he survived. 30 seconds and he did not survive. So I've noticed one of the the also that uh, oh no there's a parachute. One of the most interesting uh, things about this is that the last couple seconds of the parachutes deploying uh, is really where it's won or lost. Because obviously it's lost if you hit the if you hit the mountain, but it's also lost if you do it slightly too early and that'll add two seconds to your time easily. So a lot of it's just about timing and doing it over and over until you get it perfect. 1400, 1500, 1600, 1678 meters per second. Not bad at all. This looks good. 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 seconds. Thank you for checking out my video. Uh, oh, there comes the missile. And of course, uh, as always, have a great day.